Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Grab your popcorn because today we are going to talk about wipe coding. You know who is Andrei Karpati, right? Former Tesla AI director, OpenAI co-founder and absolute legend in AI community. And he is the guy who invented the word wipe coding. The idea was absolutely crazy. Forget about reading divs and understanding each line of code. Just describe what do you want in a natural language and AI agents will write you the code. He literally said, fully give into the vibes, embrace exponentials and forget that the code even exists. And then the tech world went insane. Within weeks, vibe coding was added to a Merriam-Webster trending words list. People started to write entire books about it and almost everyone thought that that was the future. Non-technical people building software and developers becoming 10 times faster. That's basically the death of traditional programming as we know it. But now, in October 2025, the tech world doesn't seem so excited about wipe coding anymore. Things have changed. And recently, Karpati released his new project called NanoChat. This is a minimalistic LLM with the ChatGPT-like UI that you can run on your own single GPU node. That sounds cool, isn't it? And you might think that it must be entirely wipe coded, but no. And Karpati says it is basically handwritten. I tried to use Claude and Codex agents a few times, but they just didn't work well enough and net unhelpful. Now, let me repeat that. The guy who invented wipe coding just admitted that for his serious project, AI coding agents were net unhelpful. And he hand coded the entire thing himself. And honestly, I'm not surprised. The things were going there for months. We just prefer to close our eyes and do not think about it. Developers have been reported that AI agents just silently deleted unit tests to make the build pass or generated 3000 line functions that impossible to maintain and people complaining about losing their work just because AI agents misunderstood their changes. And security researchers found out that wipe coded projects are leaking sensitive information like crazy. And according to surveys, 95% of developers uh, spend extra time reviewing, debugging and fixing AI code instead of saving the time. And again, Karpati admitted in a recent interview, I feel like the industry is making too big of a jump and is trying to pretend that it's amazing and it's not, it's a slope. Here is what MIT computer scientist Daniel Jackson said, and this is terrifying. Not only will we have masses of broken code full of security vulnerabilities, but we'll have a new generation of programmers incapable of dealing with those vulnerabilities. And companies that are trying to cut costs and replace people working for them with AI are also taking it way too far at the moment. So what's the lesson here? Yes, AI tools are amazing. Uh, they're great as autocomplete, they're great for repetitive tasks, brainstorming, but blindly trusting AI to write production code without understanding what's going on, that's not the future, that's the recipe for disaster. And even if the godfather of wipe coding does not use it anymore, then you should be careful as well. The hype cycle is real and all these AI wipe coding tools are great, but remember that they're just tools, not the brain. So you have, first of all, rely on yourself. Stay curious, read those PRs and try to be a better software developer, not just a prompt engineer. So that's my take on all this AI hype and share in the comments below the video what do you think and do you use AI tools in your day-to-day -day work? Do you let AI write your production code or you're on a safe side? And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for my channel and hit the like button. Thank you.